Hi everyone, Phil here. Well, a lot of you guys are asking me questions about data entry. After watching the video on questionnaire data entry, Sophia asks, how would I enter my data for age if it is in the categories of 18 to 24, 25 to 35 and so on? Would it be the same as for gender? Using nominal data and coding the values, so for instance, 18 equals 18 to 24, Okay, so let me show you how to set that up then. So I've set up uh, a variable age, we'll go to values, I code it, I could set 1 and call that 18 to 24. I could set 2 to be 25 to 35. And let's just have one more age group and say group 3 is 36 plus. Okay, so that's done. And say my first uh, person belongs to age group, the first age group, 18 to 24. Say the second belongs to the second group and the third person belongs to the third group. Say I've got three people. Okay, now I want to show you that I didn't have to kind of code it 1, 2 and 3. Going to your final question, let's call this second category age 2. Let's go over here. If I wanted to, I could have given it a different value. Say 18 could stand for 18 to 24. This is kind of what you were alluding to in your question. Say I could have code 25, the value 25 could stand for 25 to 35. Uh, I could have like 36 stand for 36 plus. Go to data view and in the age, let's just say it's the same thing, right? The first person belongs to the first age group, which is 18 to 24. So let's put 18 there because that's the code for this one. Second one was 25 and the third was 36, okay? Now both of these numbers are just codes and they represent the same thing. And to see that they do represent the same thing, go up to here, it can toggle between the values and the labels. If we click on that, look what happens. See, so it's identical. Now why we kind of code 1, 2 and 3 and so on seems to be more popular is you could think of 1 standing for the first group, 2 standing for the second group, 3 standing for the third group, but I, uh, but uh, yeah, you, you have to remember that 1 is 18 to 24, 2 is 25 to 35, whereas if you did it kind of this way, 18 you know, okay that's the start of that group, 18 to 24, 25, okay that's the start of 25 to 35, so it's up to you. Okay, also for that one final thing, unlike previous versions of SPSS, if you forget the codes, look, if I just double click on a cell, like for the fourth participant, there's a drop down box and then I can just pick which group that fourth person belongs to. For example. Thanks to Sophia for her question and thanks for watching.